Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. And we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of pedals by a company called Strymon. Uh, Strymon effect pedals are all analog emulating digitally controlled pedals. They've got 24-bit uh, 96K digital to analog and analog to digital conversion. Um, each of these pedals is powered by a Shark floating point processor, which is the same kind of uh, sort of high-powered, high-speed CPU you'd find in big digital live consoles and other sort of processor-hungry digital uh, audio products. Basically, by dedicating a single Shark processor to each uh, effect type, they're able to recreate uh, an analog effect in the digital realm with pretty impressive accuracy, retaining the feeling and the sound characteristics with none of the noise, unless, of course, you want to dial in noise. Um, the Brigadier is, they call it a D-bucket delay. It uh, uses a virtual uh, bucket brigade uh, algorithm to achieve that sort of classic analog bucket brigade style delay. Let's switch our amp to clean so you can really sort of get a better idea of what the pedal sounds like. So let's go over the controls. Obviously, you've got a time control here. Um, there's three different modes here, short, medium, and long, and each of these modes basically gives you a different range of delay time up to five seconds. So we go into long, we turn this all the way up here, we get... That's a pretty long delay time right there. Whoop! Now you can also hear you get that analog style, you know, as we switch, uh, as we move the time control. we can kind of play with the pitch a little bit of each of these successive repeats. If we move over to this switch here, obviously there's a tap input, and that's another way to determine the time between successive repeats. Uh, and your tap mode here determines how your input is subdivided or not. If it's on the top here, it's at quarter, which is basically just going to mimic exactly your inputted rhythm. If we go to dot, it halves it. So if we go one, two. That's basically eighth notes even though it says dot. Then we go to triplet. One, two. So, kind of handy little rhythm functions there. Now let's go over to bucket loss. Obviously, this is a digital pedal, so you are granted a lot more control over sort of the amount of analog style decay uh, with this pedal than you would with a typical analog pedal. Let's turn up our repeats a little bit. Bucket loss starts to make each of those successive repeats a little lossy. The attack of each repeat is less uh, well defined. And if you go past 3 o'clock, you start to introduce a little bit of noise there. Pretty cool. So you get a lot of control over that. Now, if we hold the tap and bypass controls at the same time, the bucket loss control becomes an EQ filter and EQs each successive repeat differently. When it's in the uh, middle position here, you basically it's a neutral e uh, EQ. You're not affecting your successive repeats. All the way to the left, and it's slightly bassier. All the way to the right, and it's trebler. Let's bring that back to neutral. Another little uh, hidden gem here. If you hold down the tap switch, you get infinite repeats. But you got to be careful because it kind of gets out of control really quickly. <laughs> Woo! All right. Let's move on to the repeats control. Uh, on some other pedals, you might think of this as the feedback button. This controls the number of repeats you get. And as we move it more clockwise, it 
Now, as our repeats continue to go, we can play around with the time control and do some really fun things with feedback. Your mix control obviously controls your blend of affected and dry signal. Now our mod control here uh, introduces a modulation effect to each successive repeat. Right now it's completely off. You can hear the pitch kind of warbling up and down. And the range on that mod effect is pretty, pretty wide. Now this effect does have a stereo output. Uh, right now we're just listening in mono. It also has an expression pedal input. And you can actually assign any of these controls to the expression pedal. The way you do that is by unplugging the pedal, hold down the tap button, plug it in to power it up, and then the first control that you move becomes the control that's assigned to be controlled by the expression pedal. Another little hidden function. Right now uh, you can hear that when you click bypass, it completely turns the effect off. You can switch this from true bypass, which is this mode, to analog bypass, which basically lets your delay trail spill over even when you bypass the effect. You do that by, again, unplugging the pedal, holding down bypass, and plugging it in. And now you're on analog bypass mode. And your delay trail spill over even when you're bypassed. The Brigadier D-Bucket Delay is available direct from Strymon for $299. Uh, it's really sort of the best of both worlds. You get the uh, control and clean sound when you want it of a digital pedal, and the response and the dirt when you want it of an analog sounding delay. So there you go, the Brigadier D-Bucket Delay from Strymon. You've been watching GearWire.com. Thanks very much.